I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on aromatic chemistry. Hi, I'm Professor Romano. I am doctor of chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of Orgo Man books and the Dad Destroyer prep book. I'd like to go over a question with you that will involve aromatic chemistry. Aromatic compounds are very, very important class of compounds and on the DAT, a sure bet to land. So come around and let's have a look. Now I'm gonna do two problems. What I wanna do is to show how we can go from benzene into this compound that looks mighty scary to the right of me. Now, I want you to focus on the reactions then worry too much about the synthetic methodology. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first add on a carbon and I put on a CH3 group and then I'm gonna burn that carbon off. Now, I'm not saying this is the only way to do this, but this is one possible way. Once I burned the carbon off, I did side chain oxidation, I added SOCl2 to create an ACL halide, and then I did what's called the Corey House reaction, in which I substitute the Cl for one of the ethyls. That's a key reaction for the DAC. Now that I put this group on, of course, I could have put this on in another way. I could have just added on this as the ACL halide. But as you can see, I stretched it out a little bit. And what I did here is I used a protecting group. And that protecting group, one, two, three carbons, one, two, three, is put on like such. This protecting group, just think as it is a big, gigantic R group and it's gonna direct the chlorine, ortho and para, but because it's so big, it'll direct it to the para, and therefore this would be the main isomer. All right, come around. Let's do another problem that's a little more challenging. What I wanna do is to go from this compound, which is called 2-hydroxy, 4-nitrobenzoic acid, and I wanna form this compound here. Well, it looks to me that we're going to have to do a Williamson ether synthesis here. We're going to have to reduce the nitro group, and it looks like we're going to have to add on an ethoxy group. My first move was to use SOCl2 to make an ACL halide. Then I'm going to treat the ACL halide with ethanol that splits off HCl, and that gives me my ester group installed. Once I did that, I'm going to now reduce down the nitro with 10 HCl and base, so the nitro is reduced. And then the final step, I do what's called the Williamson ether synthesis. NaH removes off the acidic proton, and then it's captured in an SN2, and I end up getting the final product through a Williamson as my final step. Hopefully you understood all these moves. They are very important reactions, all of which are fair game for the DAT exam. All right, what I want you to do is to go to the Dad Destroyer book and look at some of the synthesis problems that I have there. They would be similar to this, um, maybe a little bit easier, but if you can do this, you're on your way to scoring a 30. Last summer, we had 72 30s in my group um, here in New York, so hopefully you'll do just as well. Okay, hope this helps. Good day to you. Bye-bye.